Greg Stott, a 50-year-old strength athlete from Sanford, is poised to set an all-time world record in the sport of powerlifting, and he needs our help. Yes, and Greg is here now to tell us about his Kickstarter campaign supporting his mission. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I would so shake your hand, but you'd probably break mine. <laughs> no, no, we should do it. There you go. Nice oh, firm God. handshake. Nothing so tell killer. us about Mission 2013. Well, Mission 2013 is... At first, it was actually designated to be a sports expose, mm -hmm. as I found myself almost backed in or poised to be actually stronger than I was when I was a world champion last time I was on the platform at age 39. But then as we started looking at it and we felt uh, good about our equipment and what we were seeing, we said, let's get the whole story out. And now what's going to be is a full film documentary. And so Kickstarter's helping out. How can people help the Kickstarter campaign? It's really simple. All you do is go to gregstott.com. You see it. You get the backstory, And then kind of a little play on words. We want you to get the backstory and then become a backer. You were diagnosed as manic depressive. Isn't how did that something? affect your life? And how did you bounce back? Well, first, I don't know that you, you're in it. You don't lose it. And in 84, when they actually did, we were in a kind of a position like this. There was a doctor sitting there in special operations down at Fort Bragg. And you know how they like to have exams to mm -hmm. see that you're straight, you mm -hmm. know, if you're going to be an operator or a shooter. And let's check him out, see if his head's right. Well, they come back after one of these extensive exams and say, Greg, by the way, you're uh, manic depressive. Mm. I say, what's that? They say, well, and they go over the condition. And I said, uh, what does that mean? He says, well, if we go ahead and put that on your military record, uh, you won't be doing special operations anymore. So I looked at him, and we had that pause, that kind of you look at each other's eyes. Mm -hmm. And I said, I guess I'm not manic depressed. So he says, no. Mm -hmm. And that later ended up costing my military career, and I ended up uh, being general court-martialed and put in prison. Because you didn't get the treatment you needed. Yeah. Well, there was uh, or an understanding of what was going on. Yeah. And when you go into that depressive cycle, you know, bipolar is by nature, and that's what the new term is. You know, we've, we've elevated. Yeah. It was manic depressive, bipolar. But bipolars, whether male or female, are 10 times more aggressive than the regular populace. Then if you imagine unbelievable world-class strength my job was to teach hand-to-hand -hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and then you throw in bipolar we got to stew for something to happen right <laughs> well so let me ask you a question you're 50 years old best shape of your life you're, li shape. you're lifting better than you've ever lifted more before. weight than the world records that were accomplished back in 2000 and 2001 October you're gonna set new records and you're completely clean no drugs no drugs what do you think about people like Lance Armstrong and a rod who are making bajillions of dollars and not well, clean. it's never about that. I, I have always stated, and I start off talking to youth or anybody, when you talk about drugs, it's how can you say no to drugs if you don't know why? You have to have some other commitment, and it's not about money. Right now, someone would come in the studio and say, Greg, you're going to set an all-time record. We're going to make it easy for you. We're going to put all these free drugs on the table, and you can have them. I have already made a decision based on who I am and where I want to be long-term that even if it was given to me for free, I wouldn't use it. And that's really what it's all about. And what we do with our organization is called Team IXL, where we inform, motivate, and demonstrate that there's no limits drug-free. Instead of getting up there and being all professorish and telling them this and that, because steroids work. Yeah. The bottom line is, guess what? So does being drug free. Mm. Because at 50, I'm as that. old as the people I'm competing with's father, and I'm stronger than them, yeah. even if they're taking drugs. You could go to the combine in the NFL that's right, what now. right now. Right <laughs> now, we were talking about that a little. I mean, uh, 225, 40 reps. What do you think? I mean, it's that's right impressive. there. That's impressive. It's 50. Is the key to being so strong at 50, walking around all day every day, carrying these little hand things? No, no, no. This is just something that I, <laughs> I was thought. I like, man, i got to get one of these. I thought we could at least kind of like on camera, we can't bring, you know, tons of weights on camera and kind of have exhibition. We we do at gregstott.com have video and people can see our weight room rating room. Yeah, our I've family seen car, up a car on there. Cars and all sorts of stuff. Right, but this? what this is is a little gripper. This is not your parents' gripper or your daddy's gripper from years gone back. Why don't you just try it? Because the weakest point for any strong man or strength athlete would be their hand. Okay. You could have 800 pounds here. What if your hand can't hold onto the bar? Where are we going? Let's see. Let's see. Try that. Okay. All right. Now, let's just put this. What you're trying to do, Mike, and you got a strong grip, <laughs> brother. He's trying to get the card in there and hold it. All right. Oh, my God. And he's strong. He got it right there. You did it. That, I'm shaking. You did it. That is the thing. Let now, me try. Let, let me try. Let me try, Miss. Watch. She's going to be a lot better than me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on, flex. Now, what you're, seeing, that muscle. what you're seeing an example on this and this type of equipment, uh, this is an Iron Mind product, <laughs> IronMind.com. <laughs> but you're just not, it's not a CrossFit. It's not a little thing that you're doing. That's really 140 pounds of pressure that you're actually exercising with for reps. Wow. And then you, when you do 10 reps with that mic, they actually make it stronger. You can go to a two. No, thanks. And then you can go to a three. Nope, I'm good. And so these are little <laughs> things that we have so that you're standing there and you can just, you know, work on it and just anytime, you know, just... 
do reps and pull the card. <laughs> Greg, best to you. Thank you so You're much. Awesome. The, <laughs> King, the Kickstarter campaign is running uh, now through September the 12th. Help him out. And you can find more information on his website, gregstott.com. When My Carolina Today returns, we'll show you how to turn your driveway into your own little Cameron Indoor or Dome. <laughs>